second skeletal visage. Again, don't think it's worth much. Not even sure if it has any room coin value nowadays, but it should be at least a couple hundred mil. This is basically the best in slot ranged shield for ranged strength, but eh. Do I even need to continue recording these? Dragon Bone necklace number, I don't know. Hey, 69 KC though, I guess that's worth recording. Ha, <laughs> that's the sex number. Right, I talked about earlier with the Dragon Elixir and stuff, it doesn't matter. Shazzy and I set gifts, full Dragon Fire and Lava Fire protection. Completely forgot about that for a minute there. Haha, <laughs> what an unnecessary explanation that was. Uh, shit is running out though. Might have to pop some new ones. How much KC did we get in that hour? We don't count the current kill we are on. Oh yeah, 69, that's just the kill I got. Um, Just below half, so... We'll take a little over two hours to finish this. That is not bad at all. I figured 154 caps would take like five, six hours or something, but nah, not even close. Just somehow didn't think my kills would be as fast as they are, you know? Oh, regular visage this time around, and it doubled. We'll take that. I mean, honestly, 78 KC and our log should be pretty damn filled already. That's kind of nutty. Missing the big stuff, except for the draconic shot, but that's not a log item. Where the fuck is Warcraft? There it is. Need the head, the pet, Dragon Plate and Dragon Kite at 78 KC, pretty damn good. Back to back into another necklace, oh not even back to back, there was one kill in between, my bad. Well I got 10 Vorkath teleport so far from the drops, it gives a 50% drop rate bonus when you use one. Am I still on task? Oh god. I just wasted that one but I'm not gonna teleport out to get a new task while I'm on the teleport. Gonna get a task again after this kill but uh, yeah let's go ahead and do the next 10 and See if that extra drop rate bonus will yield some extra rewards as well. The big question. Uh. Well, I'll be damned boys, we just got the head. On the uh, second teleport, that is very, very nice. Money coming in, and that is a new log slot as well, lovely. Off, pace off boys, fuck yes. Into a, another dragon bone necklace, the drops just won't end today. Into a draconic visage. <laughs> Literally a drop every single kill, bro. I love this so much. What a great boss. Right, this is the last scroll, so the last chance of some drop rate boosted RNG here. Maybe, you know, just another little forecap head, some draconic. I haven't even shown the drop rates, I just realized, but I can show it at the end if you guys really want me to. It's the first time I've seen Venom. I accidentally didn't have my vigor equipped the entire time. Um, Yeah, scrolls used up. Might get more. And as we get more, I'll probably use them at some point. Oh uh, look guys, it's a uh, <coughs> double Dragon Ball necklace. I have not seen enough of those yet, thank you. Hey, Vorkav had number 2 at 102 KC. I think we're making quite a bit of money today from just Vorkav alone, boys. Alright guys, 116 KC for another necklace, number 9 already. Oh, let's go boys, another Draconic Shard, that's another full helm, I think. Holy crap, we're getting extremely lucky right now. Yeah, bro, I love Vorkath. This account. So cursed that things like Enchanted Chest, but so blessed that fucking spooning drops right now. God damn. Oh, another doubled Draconic Visage. Might actually hold more value as a regular Visage than a Dragonfire Shield, because a regular Visage can be a medium task, I believe. So depending on how badly someone wants to complete that, might go for a couple hundred mil each. Oh, and I also got a huge casket earlier, but my girlfriend was in the room talking with me, so I couldn't record it. Oh my fucking god, guys, another draconic shard! <laughs> what is my RNG right now? It's all helms as well! Holy fuck! Alright then, guys, my other infernal just wore off, but I got 9 kills to go, so I don't think it's worth re-infernaling for either, obviously. Don't see much of a point in doing more than the required amount of kills right now. Although I am getting extremely spooned here, so as a moneymaker this hasn't even been that bad of an experience. We made like a solid amount dude, like fucking hell, 30 billion Draco Helms alone in like 2 hours of Vorkav. Pretty nuts. And then the Vorkav hats and everything else. Uh, this is also on another Vorkav teleport, but that didn't matter. Alright, we have reached the final destination. 150 KC, no drop to end it off, but we really can't complain. More Cafe Vanquisher completed, get a mystery chest for that even. Very very nice, and uh, yeah, juicy amount of loot honestly. 
just in this log alone. We're just missing a couple more items. Honestly, at this point, it's not even that unrealistic to complete it at some point. Just don't feel like doing it right now. Dragon Kite, Shield, Play Buddy, and the Pet. And then on top of that, we got some drops that aren't on the log. 21 bags of riches, that's a nice little bonus. 5 visages, because the doubled ones don't show up on the log. 3 draconic shots, 2 huge caskets, 14 teleports, but we used all of those. And then a few little extra rune coin drops, nothing too crazy there. Very nice though, let's go ahead and uh, chuck some stuff in the trading post. Not expecting too much from it, because most of the items are not that valuable, but... Oh, hey, I forgot about that. I don't want to do those, okay, I'll, maybe I'll stack them up or something. Let's go ahead and open the M chest. I did end up selling a prize key that I got from challenge mode points a little while ago. Dragon Warhammer, eh, a bit of extra room coins, not bad, not bad. I am going to go ahead and use one of the heads and make the Avis Assembler. It's kind of nice to have an untradeable version, even if I have a Karazi Accumulator. I am going to keep it as an Assembler, because if we ever go to Heroic, we won't be able to use the Max Cape version of it. Uh, let's get the Draconic Shots out. We have six Visages, I wonder if they will sell for something. Got some of the other Visages. Skeletal Visage. Uh, two huge caskets. Get from that as well. 1628 mil. Not bad, not bad. 1.6 pillar. Um. Yeah, I think I want to buy some Dragon Full Helms to use it on. Man, I really want to shard it. If I'd gotten any other pieces, I would have turned it into dust for the Skimitar, but not the helmet, man. Uh, need three Dragon Fool Helms. Yeah, they're dirt cheap, no problem. Let's make that stuff real quick. Uh, gotta use this on that, and this on that, and this on that. I am not sure how you make this one. This one might be a regular anti-dragon shield on here. I do believe. Yep, there we go. That is 500 room coins. Kind of nice to have, to be honest. But I'm gonna check what they are worth regardless. Now the wards go for about 500 mil each. I don't think it's worth selling for that price personally. I would rather keep them in case I need them. Work I've had 9 bill. Got all the helms in for 9 bill. We had one. Um, added the 3. And 6 visages, 750 each. Why not? Let's make some more money. Oh, and we're also at 6,000 boss points. Just 1,500 to go to get the uh, superior perk, man. And fucking wait. Alright, I got a bunch of bases and one middle from the galvanic pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one top. There are no middle pieces for sale, so we're just gonna do the one totem. Just because I feel like having a little gamba moment. Alright, this is gonna be the third gal no, the fourth galvanic golem of the account. And we do not get lucky. Straight coins and two dragon infling jars. That's a pretty terrible gal galvanic golem. How oh, very unfortunate. Looks like blood diamonds are not all that expensive nowadays. I wanted to go ahead and make a bit of Karazi Chin Champas to try using that at Chasm. Even without like a massive, massive range gear switch. I will see what I can do. I'll let you guys know when I find it out. <laughs> uh, every 500 is a thousand chins. Oh, it's only 15 diamonds? I did not need that many. And you need blood money, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I'll make 500. It's such an expensive enchantment, man. Yeah, about a few chins. We can afford to just so we can get one more all right as you can see by my current slayer task the next thing on the agenda is Dagonov kings i think it's like 250 kills to complete both achievements two of them so why not get started on that gotta get it done at some point all right boys just hit 250 Dagonovs kc uh someone else was here as well so it slowed it down a little bit but all with all just a couple more hours. Warcraft was quicker though, which is unexpected in hindsight. Well, in advance I didn't expect it to be, but it was. Uh, got a nice amount of loot though. Picked up a bunch of these gloves and boots of all sets. Your rings and shit. Just because uh, they are Wanderer tasks, so I figured, you know, maybe it fetches a pretty penny or otherwise I can use it myself. Um, yeah, two more achievements out the way. Pretty excited about that. Still many more to go, but we're actually getting somewhere now, 186. 14 more will be pretty big, I haven't done Chaos Elemental in a while either, because I've been lazy. 
quite a few to go from skilling well, as well. Good motherfucking morning, boys. I just got myself a little doubled alloy. A couple of bill, not bad, not bad. A random jump from the previous. Uh, probably just felt like doing something different this morning and you know, keep up with Chasm. Last night I've been working on Episode Demons, a very AFK grind, but I've been grinding them uh, a little bit to try and get, of course, Scotizo totems. I even invested 3 billion GPs into a Scotizo pet just to get more of them. We got 8 so far, which is enough to get the next achievement at least. But we need like fucking 50 of them <laughs> if we uh, want to complete the final one, so gonna take some time. Preferably if we had more money I would just get 2 recharges and a Chasmax and then you just kill jellies and all stuff. Oh my microphone volume was a bit low, I hope it was doable. But uh, yeah, that is definitely the fastest way, but Episode Demons works and I can get a few whips and heavy heads and all of that good stuff passively at the same time. But yeah, wanted to break from that, so Chasm it is. Alright, I'm also currently using some uh, blood chins that I made yesterday, just because it makes it kind of chill. I wouldn't say it's the most efficient thing by any means, but it gets the job done. I'm gonna just show you real quick how I do it. It ain't much of a change, just the last bit of HP, I just kill it using the chins, which kills the golems at the same time. Generally speaking, okay, well I fucked up on that one because I was a little too low HP, but generally speaking, it makes it a bit more chill because you get the heals to survive and stuff. Ironically, that's the first time I've died doing this uh, so far, but yeah, of course, when you want to show something, it goes wrong. 